Hi there, I'm Kara Woods and it's great to be with you again today. This is going to be your intuitive uh, weekly reading for October the 20th to the 26th. So I'm just giving the cards a shuffle, chuckle and I'm going to pull three cards to have a bit of a look at the week and the energy that may be around us throughout the week, situations, those sort of things that uh, give us a bit of a heads up as to how we might learn and benefit from the energy and make the most out of our week. So let me see, what have we got here? So the first card I'm drawing is the page. So this is the page of pentacles and the next card is ah, temperance. Okay and last of all is the Eight of Cups. Okay, just make sure those are nicely in view for you. So this is God's going to be sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday through to the end of the weekend, Sunday. All right. Okay, well, nice and light, bright, lots of energy. You know, we've got our yellows, got lots of reds, lots of water. Um, you know, going to be quite an interesting week. So, the page. Okay, the page of pentacles. So, you know, as I look at the page, I think, you know, it's about um, looking at maybe investing or exploring sort of what's going on in our life. Um, and what we want to, you know, so the pentacles, what we want to change or manifest. So this is around the manifestation in the in the in the world or the the practical elements of the world. So that's what I think of here. You know, which can be money, but it can be more than money. You know, it's your home, it's your job, it's it's all the things that we that sort of manifest in the world. Um, and so I look about this. You know, I think oh, okay, so it's like exploring or looking at what we might want to do, how it might evolve or change. You know, it's that early phase of thinking about things and looking at planning to make a change. And it might be around change of education or a new project. Um, it might be about filling out forms or writing letters or applications. Um, you know, all, the, all that conversation around planning. So it's about, pl it's the planning phase of something new in our um, sense of the material world or the practical world. Um, it's what's important when I see this card is I think, you know, it's, as you're doing that, remember this is the beginning of a, a completely new adventure. So make sure that everyone around you that you're working with on this is on the same page. Um, that there's real clarity of communication because this is the beginning of something and it's something you're going to work and evolve on throughout uh, uh, an extended period of time. So that's what the energy of this week is. So as you look, if you're working on planning on changing something or if you've realized just I've had the thought, gosh, I'd really like to explore more about X, Y, and Z, be aware that, yeah, that, that's the energy that's around you and know whatever you put your time and effort into that you're aware that you want to really do that from a solid base and that there's a lot of clarity with others around you um, so that uh, things can move and, and work towards it. Um, you know I think of it as a, so in terms of that planning it might be brainstorming um, but you know the page is really earnest about the task so what, it's sort of like that energy of re once you decide you really want to explore something you're going to be really dedicated to it that, that's sort of being very earnest to a new task or a new approach so or you know anything really new that you want to approach or work towards in the tangible world. Um, and you've got to put effort into it. So it's a great time for having the energy to put effort forward, to really work on a new project, to break new ground, to work, to explore a new endeavor, um, to build something um, or create something um, just for the pure delight of exploring and starting something new so it's it's long it's that period of of change when we embark on something new that's very exciting and passionate but it's it's without any of that sort of critical judgment so it's like when you start brainstorming it's around just brainstorming the new things or the new way of doing it but not necessarily um, without that sort of negative or any kind of critical analysis so that's the energy of how we're going to start the week 
Um, and that can be, as I said, anything in the practical realm. Okay, as the week moves forward, so now we're moving into the you know, Wednesday, Thursday type energy, bringing in though this energy of Monday and Tuesday, we've got the Temperance card. Now the Temperance card represents um, oh, healing, uh, patience, timing, um, moderation, um, integration. Um, merging of things, so merging, I always think of when I see these these cups, that's the merging of two elements. Uh, it's around, uh, and it could even be a feeling of yourself sort of re-merging or coming out of yourself. It's, it's a real time that maybe if you've been having a bit of a hard time, that a real lightness starts, or a real sense of you bringing a, a balance to how your unconscious and conscious have been working or reconnecting to something in a new way. Um, you may find you have a, an urge if you've been really caught up in your in this new project of just thinking and, and wanting to get things done and actioning stuff that you want to sort of balance that and bring uh, sort of move into that sense of really connecting with your unconscious self. You may find yourself asking the question, what do I want to express? You know, what do I want to come out of me? You know, as I'm creating this new endeavor or starting the foundation of, of, of something new, what part of this is myself wanting to come out or myself wanting to merge? And this card represents healing process. It's, you know, creativity, but it's healing. Um, without agenda, it's art for art's sake is how I think of it. You know, it's like I don't have an agenda. It's, it's the time when I, you, you tell someone you, you love them or you run up and give someone a hug with just for the sheer joy of it, you know. And it's like as you're thinking about this new project and you're working on setting foundations and goals around this new project or um, this new practical, uh, pra you know, um, something physical realm in the world, um, then that sort of practical realm, think about yourself, your being, your inner self, your, your tr who you are and how you want this to be represented or how you want to express yourself in there. Um, could even be simply um, this card can represent that you just, you know, have that need to go merge yourself, you know, in the ocean for a while and take those lovely long ocean swims. And for those of us here who are going into summer, that's definitely going to be a part of our life coming up. Um, it's about combining knowledge with spontaneity. So if I think about now, this is now putting the logical mind into the spontaneity of the the page. So it's about now this, the temperance is saying, great, now bringing those two together in terms of the development of, of that which I'm starting early in the week. Um, it's not though a time, it's a time to also be patient, remember. So it's about still we're in that early phase of evolving and developing something, bringing the heart into it. So it's around, it's to be calm and be, be patient. Um, and it may be that the temperance is reminding you of the importance of letting go of old habits or old way of doing things because you are starting something new. You know, if those of you who are maybe seeking to find new employment, maybe this is around wanting to get a new job or um, looking for a new home, um, be mindful that this card is representing you're on the way. Um, it's not going to just happen right away. That maybe there's another piece of the puzzle to come out. It could be that if in the job situation you need to get a bit more training or redo your... Um, how you're presenting yourself, maybe you just need to take some other steps. So just be aware that things are positively moving, but this is about being a little more patient. It's not going to just happen. Um, if you're in a place of upheaval, if you've been feeling your life's been a bit of upheaval, maybe in the workplace things haven't been very harmonious, you'll find that some a lot of harmony, harmony will return, particularly around something new that's maybe come into your work arena. Um, and so through that um, you'll find some 
some some positivity in the change of the relationships in your workplace. If you've had some ill health of recent, it could be this change, something you're going to start to work towards changing will bring out around a real positive outcome to the health ish that you've had. Um, you may also find that uh, you may find opportunities arise through this change here or, the, or looking at building something new, the foundation of this this new beginning that you can mend some old relationships or reconnect with family in a new way and smooth out maybe some former conflicts or anything that could have existed. The key thing with the temperance is to be aware that um, is that be patient, uh, go approach things with a gentle manner, it, don't try and force something to change or uh, maybe speed up a deadline or anything like that because you will create disharmony. You're sort of going with the flow here. Um, and remember that if you are in a position where there's some sort of conflict in someone else's life, this is telling you to be, don't take sides, to be the sort of mediator in the situation. Alright, so as the week goes on, we're moving into the Eight of Cups. So as I look at the Eight of Cups, I think about you know obviously the imagery is that someone is moving on you know there's definitely leaving behind moving on exploring something you know to me this person's on on a bit of an adventure you know it's exploring something new so it's moving on perhaps from a project or situation so it could be through the evolution of this stuff you're doing here something else that you've been engaged with needs to let go uh, it could be, as I said, a part of how you've done things before. It's time to let go of that, and you are going to let go of it. So things have come to a conclusion, have run its course, so it's time now to just take action and move on. Um, perhaps you're moving into a new phase in your life as to how you emotionally relate to others. Um, perhaps there's in some sort of emotional baggage that you've carried around inside yourself, and now you get to let it go. Um, perhaps it is literally some people in your life that have served you and you've had a good connection with but your uh, connection has just it naturally is parting ways so I see this is actually a very positive card um, it's sort of hearing the call for something new so again this could be through exploring something new through the process of working of how you want to yourself come out of this that you get the call for a new job or you get the call for a new direction in your career or a new aspect of your job. Um, it could also mean that you're going to go on an adventure or go do some traveling or someone's going to come into your life who's been doing some traveling. Uh, it could mean that maybe if you're wanting to move house that you perhaps going to move house through the work of earlier in the week this opportunity will come up or, you, um, or you're going to just expand your own bubble of awareness around how you relate to others. Um, it really depends, a lot of what this is about is going to depend on what you're working on or focusing on the, or how the energy manifests early in the week for you. Um, it again just uh, be aware that you want to focus on the positivity of leaving things behind um, and you know not to carry the baggage with us so always when we move on for something it's like um, letting go of that which we no longer need and taking forward with us all that we've gained and benefited from it and moving into a new new arena so, you know, it's like letting go of those old hurts and those old relationships, you know, let them go and don't just continuously beat them to death. Um, yeah, look, so I sort of, that's sort of what jumps out of me at this card, um, you know, and it's sort of the wisdom of detachment, I guess, is the way I'll sum it up. Um, and the wisdom of no longer needing that which doesn't serve you or has no longer has a purpose and that will come about and how that will manifest for you as an individual uh, will very much be in relation to what sort of seeds do you lay down and what of those seeds is an expression of you how you want to express yourself so that's how the week looks for me, for, for you I should say, that I've drawn for you for October the 20th to the 26th. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. If you'd like to find more about me, you can check my website out.
at www.kerawoods.com. You can also find me on Facebook. So all the best. I wish you a fantastic week and I look forward to catching up with you with my next video.